What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a request that I received. It's a deck of cards that I'm super excited about. I personally could not wait to get my hands on them. I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Super B playing cards by Illusionist and Cartamundi. If you know me, you know I love Illusionist and Cartamundi, so this should be pretty exciting. Now, before we get into talking about these cards and everything I love or don't love about them, please don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh yeah, and today we need coffee. That's what we're gonna do. Here's the, yeah, I got it. I got it. We're gonna, today we're gonna get coffee. We're gonna go get coffee. I'll take you with me to get coffee. We're gonna get the coffee. Maybe something to eat. Might get something to eat. Then we're gonna roll the intro and then we'll do the rest of the video. We'll talk about the coffee. Yeah. As usual, when you come uh, to Starbucks on a Sunday morning, uh, it's 8.40 right now. Uh, as usual, there are easily 15 cars in the drive-thru ahead of me. It's like you lose either way uh, with the drive-thru. You, really, uh, you can't really win. That awkward moment when the person in front of you has already ordered their beverage, but you're not far enough up to order your beverage. All right, guys, we uh, we got the coffee. It is still freezing out here. Hasn't, hasn't gotten any warmer. All right, guys, no more goofing off. Let's talk about these cards. These cards, uh, like many cards that Illusionist has released, are a charity effort to keep bees from going extinct. So uh, if you like having air to breathe on this planet, I would highly recommend picking up a deck of these cards. Right, your tuck case is going to be on a matte white card stock. It's going to be very easy to get this, this deck dirty. I can already tell. This tuck box is going to get dirty quick. I don't really care about that. I don't know if you do. If you do, get a card clip. Front of the tuck case says Super B, and it's got this uh, geometric B on it. Looks super, super cool. You'll see this again uh, incorporated onto the back design of the cards. Side has more geometric patterns. Uh, they are meant to look like honeycombs. Same thing on the other side. Top says playing cards. And the bottom has some ad copy about Illusionist. All of the accents and trimmings on this tuck case, of course, are done in a gold foil stamp. You can feel the, the gold foil on it. I like that, really nice touch. It does make it hard to photograph this deck though because if the gold doesn't catch the light, it almost just looks like a blank white card box. Back of the tuck case has a spade pip with black honeycombs inside of it and a super bee in the middle of it. Overall, not my favorite tuck case, but definitely not my least favorite tuck case. But what really matters is the cards. Classic Cartamundi. Uh, they're printed on the Copac 310 True Linen B9 finish and card stock, uh, which means they're thick but soft and they feel excellent. I, for one, love this card stock so much. These cards last forever and they feel good the entire time. They never clump up. So good. All right, so first things first, here's what the back design looks like. If I get up close, you should be able to see it, but um, from back here, you probably can't tell, but from here, you can see it's a super thin border. We're talking super thin. It has this gold honeycomb pattern with two super bees printed in each corner. All right, now this deck is fully custom, so let's start with the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades looks great. It's this uh, very tiny index, as you can see. Customized pips. To the rest of the cards, you can see they are fully custom. So again, tiny index, and then instead of having black spades in the middle, uh, they are gold. You can also see on all the cards, the pip placement is completely custom. So whereas, you know, usually this is the five of spades, usually it would be uh, taking up the entire face of the card. Uh, they opted to do more of like a honeycomb pattern for the pips. All right, now the royalty looks super cool too. You can see this is the jack of spades. This is what the Ace of Diamonds looks like. So you can see now the, the red cards are still red, but they're more of like a maroon red, but still with the gold pips in the center. Queen of Diamonds. You are gonna get two Jokers that are not identical, which is fine, but you can see this one it says Super B. Definitely an interesting Joker for sure. Very busy, a lot going on. It almost looks like notes uh, or like what should be notes like that you take in geometry. Next Joker looks like this. Now, as far as ad cards and gaff cards, you're not gonna get any gaffs with this deck, which is a little bit disappointing. I would consider that a low point. You do get your standard illusionist 
add card. Um, every deck printed by Illusionist comes with one of these in some variation, basically just advertising the brand. I love Illusionist, but I buy the cards from Illusionist, so I really don't really don't think this is necessary. This basically, I wish we could just like swap. If if we could just swap that out with a double backer. I'm happy. All right, now the other ad card you get has some information about uh, the endangerment of bees. This is actually pretty important stuff. And it also has a quote from Albert Einstein pertaining to bees. All right, so the handling of this deck, obviously uh, we talked a little bit about it already. Handles, amazing. Artemundi's Copag 310 stock with the True Linen B9 finish is definitely uh, sweeping the playing card world. Illusionist, I think, even exclusively prints with them now, so. That should tell you something. I have no complaints about the card stock or the finish. If every deck I owned was on this card stock, I would be okay with that. So do with that what you will. Everybody has their own opinions. Actually, let me know down below if you agree. As thick as they are, and they are very thick, they spring effortlessly. They have that amazing new dribble sound. That's interesting. That almost, like, you almost can't even hear it. Listen. Whoa. You look good in fans. Again, it's hard to pick up on camera because it's white and gold, so it's hard to see, but uh, let me see if maybe this helps. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how they faro. No problems there. Right, so as you all have heard me say in the past about uh, custom faces on playing cards. I, myself, not a huge fan. I just tend to not use them. So would I use this deck for magic? Uh, no, no, I probably would not. However, it does feel really good. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I might, I might have this deck on me, uh, for a little while, you know, so I, that way if I want to practice some new moves or if I just want to use a deck that feels good, that looks good, but I'm not necessarily performing. I think what it's all about in the long run is do you like the cards? And it just so happens I typically don't like custom cards, but I do like these. So, I'll take it. <laughs> if you're interested in picking them up, go to illusionist.com, illusionist with an E if you don't know that already. I might go pick up another deck. So if I do, I'll give this one away. How about that? Let's roll it out with a magic trick. Since we don't have a spectator here, let's just say we're gonna use the Ace of Spades for this example, but ordinarily we would just have the spectator name a card that they like. But for this one, we're gonna say the Ace of Spades. It's a classic and it's easy to remember, right? So we're just gonna leave it <clears throat> right there in the middle, not even gonna touch it. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the top card, which is the three of clubs. We're gonna take the three of clubs, okay? Three of clubs, obviously not the spectator's card, <clears throat> but all you gotta do is just rub three of spades just like that, just brush it and you're gonna get the ace. All right, everybody, so that was my review of the Super Bees playing cards by Illusionist and Cartamundi. Uh, go pick one up. I really like it. I'm definitely, definitely stoked about this deck. I like it a lot. It's pretty much going to do it for us here today, but please do like the video if you haven't, subscribe if you aren't, and let me know in the comments what deck you would like me to review just for you. All right, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. I know I will. Peace.